Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel, House of GUK. Today's video is all about um, the canter. Um, so we are going to have a question and answer um, video about the decanter. I will be asking and my husband will be answering my question. So tell me what is a decanter? Oh. Well, the decanter is, is a, a container for wine and spirit. Um, mm -hmm. Usually glass, but it doesn't have to be glass. Made of glass, you mean? Sometimes, usually, uh, but not always. Okay. Um, its main purpose, as I say, is to contain either wine or spirit. You can tell whether it's designed for wine yeah. um, if the top yeah. is uh, the glass for the top and the inside of the neck are ground. Yeah, this. So if you take the, the port one out, well, and compare it, show it to the, the other one, you can see that the one that came out of the port decanter is ground. Yeah. You can see the difference in colour, whereas the other one is plain. Okay. So the, uh, the ground glass ensures there's a better fit. Okay. And it's usually used, as well as something like port, yeah. it is used in spirit decanters, this. like the two square ones yeah. here. Yeah. Um, and the reason is to give a better seal, so that the spirit doesn't evaporate. Okay. Okay. So my next question is... Uh, um, is there any specific shape of decanter to be used for a like a specific um, spirit or alcohol? Well, the, the square one is, is often used for spirits. This, yeah. Um, I don't know why, but it, it tends to be the shape that spirit decanters yeah. uh, come in. The one in the little... Um, stand there, the port, port decanter, yeah. the, the port decanter um, is in a stand, um, I'm not even sure why, the, what the history of that is, but um, it does look nice, so who cares? Yeah, I like it. Who cares? Yeah. And the one with the very large bottom <coughs> is called a ship's decanter, and it has that shape because it used to be used on sailing ships, usually on the captain's desk or table, dining table, mm -hmm. and it has a very wide base so that it doesn't fall over as the ship yeah. is going through the waves, through the sea. Oh, yeah, they're very stable, it doesn't move. Mm. Okay. And how about this? this that one? one is a, simply a wine decanter. Um, Wine used to be decanted, red wine especially, used to be decanted so that the, the, the um, dregs of the winemaking process, mm -hmm. which more often occur in uh, red wine, mm -hmm. would be left at the bottom of the bottle and the clear wine could be poured carefully into the decanter. These days, unless it's a very, very expensive red wine, the wine is so clear that it doesn't need to really be decanted. Although decanting does also um, add air to the wine as it's being poured into the decanter. Although again, with most red wines these days, you don't need to aerate it because of the way that the wine is made. Oh, okay. Okay. Um, another question is, um, uh, you don't have to, to, to put a white wine in a decanter. Why is that? Well, I suppose historically, because it was usually much more clear. It didn't have the same sort of 
um, deposits at the bottom of the bottle. Oh, okay. And also, normally it would be kept chilled anyway. Oh, okay. Um, so you don't really want to put a decanter into a into a bucket of ice. Oh, okay. So whatever you put in a decanter doesn't need to be chilled or cold. Um. It, well, the sort of stuff you put into into a decanter. If you want it cold, for example, whiskey yeah. in the, the square one. If you want the whiskey cold, you put ice in it. Yeah, but, but is whiskey uh, supposed to be? Uh, I mean, is whiskey supposed to be cold? No, it, it's all a question of taste. Ah, okay. So it's up to you. Some people you prefer not to have ice in whiskey because they think it waters it down as the ice melts. Oh, okay. Okay. So. Okay, so and this is a um, this is not a decanter, yeah. It's an aerator. This is an aerator. When I said earlier about um, it used to be the case that you needed to mix air, get air into the red wine to make it uh, realize its full flavor. Yeah. This is something that could be used to put air into red wine. Um, <coughs> it works a little bit like a car's carburetor in that it simply mixes air as the w the wine goes through it. It mixes, picks up air, and, and puts air into the wine. Oh, okay. Uh, you can either do it on an individual glass basis, or you can yeah. do it on a decanter basis. Okay. So you you pour the red wine in here. Preferably when the glass is in place. Yeah. Right. You put the glass in here, yes. and then you pour the red wine in here, yes. and um, it will. What's that? What's that? It, it will add air to the air. wine. Yeah. Yes. Okay. So you can, you can you can either use a glass here or a what that was that? You can do the whole bottle in the wine decanter. Yeah. Or if you want to uh, put it in a decanter, you can so this one here. Yeah, and then put the red wine in here. That's right. Yeah. So this is this is detachable, and you can just put it here. Historically, <clears throat> before these things were invented, people simply yes used to get air into the red wine by opening the red wine sometime a couple of hours before they needed to use it. Oh, so so that is one <coughs> way of uh, airing wine. Yeah, getting oh. air in quickly. Oh, okay. In case you don't want to have to wait. Okay. You want to drink it as soon as you've opened the bottle. Yeah, okay. So, um, red wine doesn't... Uh, that, uh, is red wine supposed to be um, room temperature? Doesn't need to be um, cold when you drink it? Most red wine should be room temperature. There are some very um, young red wines that should be served chilled. An example of that is um, the new wine that is released every year from the Beaujolais region, okay. which is called Beaujolais Nouveau. Okay. And quite honestly, it's it, very often, if it's not a very good year, which seems to be quite often the case, yeah. it's not that nice to drink. Um, but it can be slightly better if it's chilled. Oh, okay. Okay. I'm not a fan of Beaujolais Nouveau. So you don't like the red wine cold, yeah? You always want no. the room temperature. Yes. I'm not very familiar with the kinds of uh, alcohol. So in order not to get confused, we put this label on each decanter. So we have this. Or uh, on whiskey, so we put the tag on the um, decanter. So this one is uh, cherry, so I put cherry on it. That's that cherry. Um, this one is. Uh, 
port so we put port and this one is whiskey so I put the medal whiskey okay. whiskey yeah. and this is And this is brandy. It's not much in there because um, my husband doesn't want to mix this one to what is in there. So, but we always top up. So this one is brandy. So I'll put the necklace brandy. Yeah. And this is for the red wine. Yeah. There's nothing in there because we use the aerator whenever we have um, red wine. So yeah, we seldom put red wine in this decanter. And they look nice. So thank you very much for your uh, answers for my question about what? Right. It's about the decanter. My expert subject alcohol. Yeah, because he, he, he drinks, he travels, he got all the experience about alcohol. So that's all for today. I hope you like my video. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, and click on the bell button so you will be notified for my next video. Thank you for watching. Bye.